Ryan and Mia, welcome to the sofa. I have to say, Mia is the first dog who's ever sat on the sofa, and she's she? most welcome. Yes, as long as you're well behaved, darling, and stop eating the buttons as you did a second ago. Now, listen, tell us, Ryan. Um, there is a huge increase in dog fights, and it's very worrying. Why is it? Well, I think effectively we've done the same things over and over and over. And I think what we have to accept is that the 1991 Dangerous Dogs Act clearly has failed. If it hadn't failed, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. We've had three children die as a result of dog, uh, dog attacks. We hear that dog attacks are on the increase, and we hear that dog fighting is on the increase, which all suggests to us that the laws aren't working. Now, I think the problem is that everything we've got in terms of legislation related to dogs is all um, post-event. It's all dog attacks, dog gets destroyed. What we need is a law that is pre-event, and that has to be focused on dog owners. Preemptive. I mean, one thing that you know touches everybody's hearts, of course, is that the dogs are severely injured themselves. Uh, there are about four um, breeds, as far as I know, that are banned. Is that part of the problem? If more more breeds were banned, it would prevent the problem. No, I think that the breed ban is is, is actually partly the cause because what you do is when we ban the pit bull type dog is you make that breed attractive to the exact sort of person it that, that it does. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the pit bull is no more or less dangerous than any other large breed dog. Um, you can't simply ring fence a particular breed and say this is a dangerous breed and therefore this is a safe breed. This, this dog of, of mine in the wrong hands could potentially be a dangerous dog uh, and we know that Rottweilers have taken life. What we have to do is accept that certain dogs of a certain size and weight need careful management and all dogs need responsible owners that are going to take responsibility for the actions of their dogs. It is interesting, isn't it? As you said, Mia in somebody else's hands could turn into possibly a killer. Uh, she looks like the soppiest, <laughs> most lovely dog to have, and so clearly not every breed um, is as dangerous as, it, as it's led, perhaps, in, in the newspapers and on the television. No, and I think that's, that's part of the problem, is that the more we demonise a particular breed, the more we make it attractive to the exact sort of person that shouldn't have a dog. And I think something that we need to also look at is the supply. Who is it that's letting people have these dogs, that's breeding these dogs, and letting people have these dogs for uh, illegitimate reasons? So the government has to take action immediately, is that your view? A dog ownership suitability test akin to the driving licence could actually have a positive impact. Ryan, thank you. Mia? Could you at least get up to say thank you and goodbye? <laughs> oh, very boring. Very boring. <laughs> thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you, Mia.